Um, I will say this, though, and I have to give flowers to Fletcher Cox in his 12 years. Spectacular. In a long line of traditional defensive tackles that the Philadelphia Eagles have had, and in respect to my friend Jerome Brown, he lived up to every single thing since he left the SEC and came to Philadelphia. He brought everything. He accomplished everything. He lived up to the expectations and exceeded even more. Is he a Hall of Famer? That'll be debated. But to be in that debate is a great honor as well. He has been one of the last of the absolute traditional defensive tackles that play the run, that can rush the passer, can dominate, great leadership, a spectacular guy for the city, and every single thing that I said about Jason Kelsey, in my opinion, can be said about Fletcher Cox. Spectacular career. One of the absolute, truly greatest Eagles of all time. And I even threw this out on my Twitter page, at Dan Cilio Show. If you had to pick between Jerome Brown and Fletcher Cox, who would you pick? Um... Jeez, that's I'm, I'm and, and and I can't take my bias out of it. Okay, I can't, I can't take my bias, and I don't want to split my take up here. But probably Fletcher because of the longevity. I think that Jerome was more talented. But you can't put enough of an emphasis on how good he was for almost the entire length of his career. Okay? And as for defensive tackles, Fletcher Cox will go down in the top three defensive tackles in the history of your organization. And we're talking 90 years. That's an amazing accomplishment. I give him nothing but spectacular. I'm sure Brown's number would have been retired if he had played. He They retired it. Jerome Brown's number um, is retired 99. The Eagles have retired it. I've seen it. I've been at Lincoln Financial myself. Okay, so Kirk Cousins signs with the Falcons. We're going to get all to all these signings. Today's Liars Club. Um, let me know what the money is there, Sir Roger. Sills, does he have a shot at the Hall of Fame? Then he does, yes. If I have anything to say, if someone asks me, will all the Hall of Fame voters we get on, Fletcher Cox, in my opinion, I mean, I don't think, uh, I think there's been lesser defensive tackles. I mean, look, Richard Seymour. Is Richard Seymour better than um, Fletcher Cox? Maybe a tick. Maybe a tad bit better pass rusher, but against the run, Fletcher's better. Richard Seymour is a great player. Okay? Young with the Niners who just went in. Is Young better than Fletcher? I don't know. Okay. I, I Fletcher Cox, I'm such a giant fan of his. I personally like him more than Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's the greatest pass rushing three technique in NFL history. But when it comes against the run, he's marginal. Fletcher was more complete. But he wasn't as spectacular. I, I remember telling um Xander that when I first got to Jacob, I said, I'll take Fletcher Cox all day long over Aaron Donald. He was stunned when I said that. Well, Donald doesn't really stop the run. You can run at him. Fletcher Cox, you're not running the ball at him. Look at what a pro he was all the way up until his final season. Okay? I, I love him. I, I do. I had to give him his flowers, and I think it was a spectacular career. Kudos to you, Fletcher Cox, in retirement. You were one of the truly greatest of all time. 
okay? Sales, do Fletch and Cam Hayward compare? I think Fletcher Cox is better than Cam Hayward. And I think Cam Hayward's a great ball player. I think Fletcher's better. Cam Hayward's a great ball player. He went out still playing good t- too. Great eagle. Spectacular eagle at Xander. Spectacular. <laughs> What's crazy about Kelsey going out and Fletcher Cox going out, those two guys were still playing great ball, and I would have paid them. Would I have paid Fletcher Cox $10 million? Probably not. But I'll tell you what, it wouldn't have been far off that number. And get this, Kelsey could have came back, and from what I'm understanding him, they offered him $14 million bucks to come back. And he said no. The Eagles offered Jason Kelsey $14 million to come back and tried to entice him to come back, and he said no. They tried to bribe him. I would have bribed him too. Hey, you want 15? I'll do it. I would have done it. Cousins to the Falcons changes the NFC South and the NFC a little bit around because there's some good talent down there. Pitts, B. John Robinson, they got to fix their defense, though. That's going to have to be a major priority this offseason for Atlanta. And that's the reason why you signed Raheem Morris as head coach. Raheem's going to look around the room in free agency and in the draft, and he's going to improve that defense overnight. Atlanta Falcons are going to be players down there. The Buccaneers end up giving Baker Mayfield $100 million over three years. It shows you what the salary cap has done to marginal quarterbacks. Think about that. Marginal quarterbacks are making $30 million a year now. Baker Mayfield's marginal at best. Cousins is above marginal. And Cousins is making enormous dough now. He was the top free agent out there. Do you know that? But the reason why you had to give Baker Mayfield $100 million, why? Because you just gave Mike Evans that massive contract. You had to bring back a quality guy. And to me, in my opinion, The Buccaneers, I thought they should have went after Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins and Mike Evans, that might have looked good in Tampa. But the Bucs liked what Baker Mayfield brought. And what's the most important thing? He's cheaper. The Bucs have a lot of issues in salary cap. Okay? That's right, Denny. Now that Kirk Cousins is in Atlanta, if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you're trading Justin Jefferson. What are you going to do, land Justin Fields? You think Justin Fields is going to turn the Vikings around with Justin Jefferson and the kid Addison? You think he's going to turn that thing around? They need help on defense. They're in a shit's way right now because Jefferson's one of 